The cubic polynomial f of x is defined by f of x equals x cubed plus x squared minus 11x plus 10. Use the factor theorem to find a factor of f of x. Hence, solve the equation f of x equals naught, giving you its root in an exact form. So here's the question in summary. Um, so let's have a look at this then. Now I can see if I put 1 and 1, one 1's not going to give a 0. So I'm not going to bother with 1. What about 2? 8 and 4 is 12. Yeah, 2 looks good. So f of 2 then. 2 cubed plus 2 squared minus 11 times 2 plus 10 is equal to 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 10 is 22 minus 22 because 11 twos are 22 equals naught so x minus 2 then uh, is a factor um, hence solve f of x equals naught in exact form so I'm going to do long division here and not try and find another factor to this straight away using the factor theorem. So x cubed plus x squared shouldn't take too long here, plus 10. So how many x's go into x cubed then? It goes in x squared. Multiply through x cubed minus 2x squared. Take them away. This take that cancels, that's why we're doing it. x squared take away minus 2x squared is 3x squared, isn't it? A minus 11x take nothing, it's minus 11x. 10 take away nothing is just 10. How many of these go into this is just plus 3x. So 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x times minus 2 is minus 6x. Take them away then, again. And what we're left with now, minus 11x take away minus 6x is minus 5x. Plus 10. How many of these go into this is minus 5. So minus 5 times x is minus 5x. And then minus 5 times minus 2 is plus 10. Take them away from each other. And they both cancel each other out and we're left with 0. So that's what it goes into then. Okay, so uh, and solve this in exact form we're doing now, aren't we? So part 2. So f of x then must equal x minus 2 and x squared plus 3x minus 5. Here's a quadratic. So what's, let's have a little look at the question. Use a factor theorem to find a factor. Hence, solve this in exact form. So here, f of x. So f of x equals naught then. That implies x equals 2. Or x squared plus... 3x minus 5 equals 0. This doesn't factorise, I don't think, looking at it there. So we have to use the formula. So x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared is 3 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is minus 5. So I'll take that to a plus. All over 2 lots of a, which is 1. So we end up with minus 3 plus or minus uh, 9 plus 20 is root 29 over 2. So x equals 2. x equals minus 3 plus root 29 over 2. And the other solution is x equals minus 3 minus root 29 all over two.